Before I start, I would like to say all the information I have in this video is from fandom. Anyway, let's talk about Captain Carter, a character who showed up in the first episode of Marvel's What If. Captain Carter's real name is Margaret Carter, or Peggy Carter. There are many versions of this character. In this video, I'll talk about most of them. There are four Captain Carters I will be talking about in this video. Two from comics, one from a TV show, and one from a video game. The Captain Carters I'm going to talk about are Margaret Carter from Earth 61351. Margaret Carter from Earth 86315. Margaret Carter from Earth TRN876, the one from What If Episode 1. And last is Margaret Carter from Earth TRN665, the one from Marvel Puzzled Quest. Fandom's description of Captain Carter from What If Episode 1 is In a world diverged from Earth, here we go, 199999, which is the MCU, where the saboteur who attacked Project Rebirth facility before Steve Rogers was upgraded, Peggy Carter decided to go through the process and become the first super soldier. I also wanted to point out that in all of the Earths except for the What If one, she is called Captain America, not Captain Carter. The first appearance of Margaret Carter from Earth 61351 is in Exiles Volume 3, Number 12. The first appearance of Margaret Carter from Earth 86315, man this is going to get tiring, is in Exiles Volume 3, Number 3. The other two are only in their TV show and video game, not in comics. First, let's start with Captain America's backstory from Earth 61351, because it's very short. During World War II, Captain America was captured by Baron Zemo, who used her blood to reverse engineer the super soldier serum to and conquer the world. That's it. Anyway, now I'm going to tell you about Captain America's backstory from Earth 86315. In a world where Steve Rogers and Dr. Abraham Erkenstein were assassinated by a Nazi spy before the former could become Captain America, Peggy Carter was convinced by Howard Stark to participate in the super soldier program in his place. A former field agent, Peggy combined the powers of the super soldier serum with a top-notch combat training, defending the ideals of freedom and equality as the world's Captain America, a title which she initially resented but grew to accept due to her increasing love for New York City. Now for Captain America from Earth TRN 665 or Marvel Puzzle Quest Story. In a world where Steve Rogers was assassinated before he could become Captain America, Peggy Carter joined the Super Soldier program in his place. A former field agent, Peggy combined the power of the Super Soldier Serum with their top-notch training defending the ideals of freedom and equality as the world's Captain America. By the way, this is pretty close to uh, the Earth that I just mentioned before because that is actually based off of the Puzzle Quest game. Last but not least, Captain Carter from Earth TRN 876, or What If's Episode 1 story. During the launch of Project Rebirth, Dr. Abraham Erskine offered Agent Carter to proceed to a viewing booth, but she elected to stay in the room for the procedure, leading to other men present for observation doing the same. This caused Nazi spy Heinz Kruger to detonate his explosive device earlier, before Steve Rogers' procedure was finished. Kruger managed to kill both Dr. Erskine and the SSR head, Colonel Phillips, while also wounding Rogers. Kruger then tried to escape with a vial of super soldier serum, but Agent Carter shot and killed him. Colonel Flynn tried to salvage the project by having Howard Stark go inside of the Vita Ray chamber, but he refused and with no time remaining, Peggy jumped in instead to undergo the procedure herself. She emerged as the world's first super soldier, but Flynn, the new head of the SSR, saw Carter as a disappointment, whom he dismissed out of belief that women could not be soldiers and refused to send her into the field. Stark and Carter used Flynn to authorize a mission to recover the Tesseract from Hydra, which was denied to them. Going behind Flynn's back, Stark made a uniform and a vibranium shield for Peggy, who as Captain Carter went on a mission herself. In the middle of Berlin, she single-handedly stopped Hydra convoy, capturing Hydra scientist Arnon Zola and retrieving the Tesseract. 
bringing it and Zola back to the USA. Stark then used the Tesseract to power his latest invention, the Hydra Stomper armor, piloted by Steve Rogers, who had began to form a close relationship with Peggy. Learning that Rogers' friend Bucky Barnes had been captured, Peggy set out to rescue him from an Austrian Hydra facility. Easily dispatching the guards, she found and liberated Barnes and the other prisoners, leading them away from the prison grounds where they were intercepted by a tank detachment. Rogers arrived from the air in the Hydra Stomper armor to provide support for Peggy, and the two of them destroyed the enemy forces together. Barnes and a few other liberated POWs formed the Howling Commandos, a unit that assisted Captain Carter and Hydra Stomper in many SSR operations throughout the rest of the war. Near the end of the war, Captain Carter, Hydra Stomper, and the Howling Commandos went on a mission to capture Hydra leader Johann Schmidt. Bucky almost fell during the boarding of Hydra train, but was saved by Carter, who grabbed with enough strength to almost rip his arm off. However, they were lured into a trap, and the train exploded, seemingly burying Steve in the Hydra Stumper armor under an avalanche of snow. Grieving, Carter interrogated Dr. Zola about Schmidt's base at Castle de Crake, and led the Howling Commandos on a final decisive strike against Hydra. Inside, she and Stark separated from Howling Commandos and came across Red Skull, who had constructed an interdimensional gateway to summon Hydra's true champion from beyond the stars. Schmidt used the Tesseract to activate it, and a massive tentacular monster emerged from the portal, only to be immediately grab Schmidt and crush him to death. Carter ordered Stark to close the portal while she held the monster off with her shield and the sword she grabbed from the wall. Meanwhile, the Howling Commandos found the captured Rogers alive and put him back inside the Hydra Stomper armor. Steve then rushed to help Peggy, who was overjoyed to see him alive and well. The monster began destroying the entire castle, and Carter ordered Rogers to get the Howling Commandos out of the collapsing structure. Stark was unable to close the portal because the creature held it open, and Peggy decided to sacrifice herself and push it back inside. Rogers returned just in time to have a final goodbye with Peggy, who went inside the portal, enabling Stark to close it for good. Almost 70 years later, the Tesseract was activated by S.H.I.E.L.D. at the Project Pegasus factory. When a portal opened, Peggy popped out and was met by Hawkeye, was with Nick Fury, who asked her to put her sword down. Hawkeye instantly recognized her as the Captain Carter, after which Fury told her that World War II has ended in victory many decades ago. That's all the backstories for the different Captain Carters. Next is powers and abilities. For every version of Captain Carter, it says that she has the powers of the main world Steve Rogers, Captain America, and the abilities of their main world Carter. Because of this, I'm going to go off of Earth-616 for each. Also, if you don't know, Earth-616 is the main world for Marvel Comics. Let me read off the, the powers list from Phantom because it's a good amount. Okay, artificially enhanced psychology, peak human strength, peak human speed, peak human durability, peak human agility, peak human reflexes, peak human stan stamina, peak human recovery, peak human mental processing, peak human senses, and advanced lung activity. Now for the abilities. Let me read them off from fandom. Marksman, she's an expert marksman. Combat training, she is also highly qualified in close quarters combat and military tactics. Communications training. During her long ten years of S.H.I.E.L.D. and other intelligence agencies, Peggy became a highly trained communications officer, a training that would serve her well in her tenure with the Avengers. Toxicology. Having tr become a trained medical doctor, Peggy was also a skilled toxicologist, being able to study Mindstorm's custom poison and crafting an antidote within an hour's time. Last but not least is weapons and equipment. Every version of Captain Carter has the same equipment and weapon, except maybe different versions of them. For equipment, she has a uniform. There isn't much about it, but in the common versions as well as the puzzle game, it looks like a Captain America uniform made for her. While in the What If Episode 1 uniform, it's different because of the UK flag or Union Jack on it. For weapons, she has her shield. They all work the same way as a normal Captain America shield, and the ones for the comics and puzzle game look like the normal shield as well. 
Well, just like for the uniform, the What If shield had the Union Jack on it. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you learned something about the different versions of Captain Carter. I would recommend going and watching What If Episode 1 to see what I was talking about, even though in this video, I basically spoiled the entire episode. Hope you liked the video, like, subscribe, and goodbye.